Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today I have had a few questions about this Denver drone. It's the DCH-330. Wanna try and answer some of those questions. Uh, one of them is how far the range is. How how high can you go and how far can you go? I don't think I'm gonna go how high you can go because I have no way of measuring that. But we can see how far away we can start the the Denver drone up. I'll find a nice field somewhere and we will um, have a go at it. Also, how long does it fly on a, on a charged battery? And that's fairly easy to test, just uh, bring a stopwatch. We'll do that, see how long it stays in the air on a charge of battery. I found it very hard to film this thing because I'm I'm using the remote. I'm not really able to film myself filming myself filming the drone flying when I'm filming myself and trying to steer it at the same time. I've kind of found a way of getting this little Denver action camera into the picture as well. Um, it comes with a lot of extra equipment things and I found that this is actually to mount it on a bicycle. Uh, there is one more of these and you can mount it. Um, but I disassembled that and found out um, there's a little stick here. That's nice. And I was kind of just thinking about mounting it to my head. So I like that. So wherever I'm looking, it will follow. And I found a big rubber band, so I was just thinking about putting that around my head and sticking the camera to my head like that. Let's see if that works. I have no idea, but I'll give it a go. If it doesn't, I just get to look really stupid for a little while. So, uh, well, let's go find somewhere nice to fly the drone. So, I found a perfect place for it. I'm down at a football field. It's, oh, what is this? About 500 meters from my playhouse. I found this perfect for this little test to see how far it ranges. And I just read on the box. I brought these things uh, right here. Oh, that's the Danish version. Let's find the English version. Uh, there. They say that the range is about, oh, where was it? There. 30 meter range operating area. So we'll see if that's true. I'll just set up. So I'm wearing sunglasses right now, and that's to better be able to see the see the drone when it's flying. I don't think it's actually necessary for this test, but I brought them along. I might just take them off. And I have the little camera here, Denver, and I already re readied a rubber band around my head. And I'm gonna put it in the secure casing here, like that. And I'll on the camera. Here, can we see that? It does say on. Uh, it, it might be hard to see. And I will. It's on video and it's on high. Turn it on. It's now recording. So now, now the two cameras should be seeing each other. And I'll mount it here on my head. Let's see if that's good. I have no idea if this just looks stupid or if it will work. Can I see myself? Okay. Well, this looks really dumb. I hope it works. <laughs> okay, let's see the setup here. I have the drone right there and I have a measuring tape that goes that way and it's 30 meters long so it's exactly as long as it should be. So let's turn on the drone. Let's see if that's in frame. Let's get the shadows out of the way. Turn on the remote and now I have just synchronized it with the remote. Let's, let's just test it for good sake. 
see if it works. It works okay. So we're gonna mount it on the box. Yeah. And we're gonna go down to the end of the measuring tape. And see if the remote will catch it down here. Here it's 30 meters, right there is the remote. It works just fine. Okay, so 30 meters, it's absolutely okay. Extending it, I'm putting a stick into the ground if I can. Like Add the measuring tape, come over here. We're gonna leave the box there. And go another 30 meters this way. So that should be around here. So we are at 60 meters. Let's see if the drone will start from here. 60 meters away. I am. Um, oh, it actually started. It didn't start at first, but then it came. Oh, let's try it again. No, 60 meters is too much. So let's move a bit closer. Okay, we are 50 meters away right now. I have the remote right here. And we're gonna start it. Running. And it works okay. And I landed it right here. So 50 meters is okay. Let's move a little further back. Okay. The drone is back in position. We're gonna go five meters further away. There is 25, so 25 plus the 30, so we should be 55 meters away from the drone. Let's see if we can move it. Okay, I'm having the remote over my head and it's Fifty-five meters. Uh, I could feel it was a bit difficult. It didn't react very fast at the start. It helped. I, uh, I put the remote over my head uh, as far as I could reach, and I got a signal through. Okay, I'm gonna move a couple of meters back just to give it a twenty-seven. Is here plus plus the thirty. So this is. 57 meters away from the drone. I'm just, let's try the remote down here first. Can we see this? Yeah. Nothing is happening. 
I'll try it a bit further up. Oh, I can't see that. I'll hold it over my head like this. And the signal come went through. Okay, the, I'm gonna go to the end of the measuring tape, which is right there, and I'm gonna see if I can get a signal through to the drone. I think I think 60 meters is about the limit that it can do. But let, let's have a go and see. Okay, but I had to have the remote over my head. It's not responding if I if I hold it down, like like around here. It, it won't talk to me. See if I can show you another little neat trick. Can flip. So I depleted the battery on the drone now, but um, yeah, I think about 60 meters uh, far from the drone is the limit. And I'm gonna take this camera off because it really hurts. This rubber band is way too tight, so um, stop that camera. I've been recording 11 minutes, you can see. So power that off. So we are, I think we're done for the for the distance test. Okay, the drone is back in the box now. I just have to roll in the measuring tape. That's, that's really long when you have to roll it in. Better take the stick with me. This is a football field. Don't want anyone to fall over that. Good to go. Okay, I'm back again and uh, I'm wearing the nice sunglasses. These are very cheap ones that I buy in China for next to nothing. I have charged drone's battery up to full. Just took it off the charger 30 seconds ago while I was preparing this and I found my phone that I'm gonna time it with. And I've been doing some improvement to the head camera. Um, all this plastic stuff, it comes with the camera. So now I think I can just put it around. I'll just take this off. Now I can wear it like this. Oh, this looks fantastic, I'm sure. And it should be kind of pointing forward. Uh, it's, it's not really any good way to know where it's pointing, but I did look at the footage from, from the other take and it seems to be pointing in the right direction. The rubber band is a bit too tight. It actually hurts my head. My head is gonna shrink in this movie. Uh, and it's a bit flimsy, but I don't suspect I'm gonna move my head that fast. I think it, I can feel when it's okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna mount the battery in the drone and see how long it goes on the battery. I'm not gonna be using the onboard camera in the drone just to give it some more flight time. I have no idea how much power that drains, but I just tried to improve this thing. I put a piece of plastic here because it was hurting my head. And I just went out in and saw myself in the mirror, tried and adjust it again. So, uh, I don't know. We are the Borg. Resistance is future. Already my phone. Apple stopwatch or something and change the camera angle.
six minutes, 20, well, just about six and a half minutes. They say 30 meters that you can fly 30 meters away from you, but uh, it was closer to 50, 60 meters away from me, around 200 feet. Uh, that's great. And the flight time was about six, six minutes, 20 seconds, I guess. And I was not doing anything particularly, I wasn't, it wasn't too crazy, I was just trying to keep it steady at a level where I could control it. It's a bit windy, so I didn't want to go too far up. Yeah, it did that for 6 minutes 20 seconds. That was pretty impressive. Um, I did go all the way through the beeping when, it, when, it, when I stopped it. It was almost not able to, uh, to maintain any height anymore. So Very exciting. I hope that answers some of the questions that has been asked here on my form. If you got some new ones, do uh, write them in the comments below. And this little Denver thing, well, it hurts like hell with this rubber band. Um, I need to find some, some new solution, but it points in the right direction. Very nice little cheap thing to you. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, remember to like this video. It's down here somewhere. Uh, I forget where.